Well, it's season three, and Merle got a great deal renting a seaside mansion named Dragon House. I wonder why it was such a good deal. My name is Delanier Shook, and I am the information collector. And yes, I'm back in the garden on Dragon Island. Uh, uh, it's a bit cloudy, and I think it's going to rain. There's a Bavarian guy who uh, runs a uh, German restaurant in the volcano over to the left, and uh, every time he starts up a certain kind of stew, it starts to rain. Good stew, though. Anyway, uh, the reason that I'm still here is we are working on a short film movie trailer for next week. Um, next week is Friday the 13th. And traditionally, a horror movie comes out on Friday the 13th. And while I'm not a fan of all horror movies, I... Uh, I'm a deep respecter of creativity and tradition, so by the grace of God, I will uh, bring you a trailer for a horror movie uh, next week. In a press release last Tuesday, Walmart announced that over the next five years they would invest a billion dollars toward employee higher education. Um, Walmart, of course, is the largest private employer in the United States. And uh, it dedicated this money to paying the full cost of books and tuition for any of their over a million and a half employees that were interested in taking advantage of it. Uh, this reflects a number of trends we have seen lately. Uh, lots of employers are offering this. Um, job retention, employee retention is a big part of this. It's harder to find employees and there are a lot of jobs out there. The economy is coming back gangbusters and um, this reflects it. Walmart has, with, they added several schools and there are now 10 that they work with. Johnson and Wales University, the University of Arizona, the University of Denver, and Pathstream were the ones they announced they were adding last week. Grandman University, Penn Foster, Purdue University Global, Southern New Hampshire University, Wilmington University, And this says Voxy Engine. That's what it said. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, those are the uh, companies they, the schools they work with. And in 2018, Walmart began the began a program called Live Better You. See what they did there? Live Better You. You for universe. Right. And uh, since then, 52,000 employees have participated, with 8,000 graduating. 
so this is an important trend not only in higher education which uh, and online schooling but also in it shows that companies are really want to retain employees so they don't have to hire new ones Last Wednesday, Hasbro announced a cash dividend for this quarter of 68 cents per share. Um, this will be paid to shares on record on the 1st of November. So uh, I don't know if that means if everybody goes out and buys up Hasbro, Hasbro shares that they'll get it, but it sounds like it. Now, at the same time, this is not really, dividends are interesting because it's kind of like the stock market's equivalent of interest rates. I could put money in the bank and make the interest rate, or I could put it in the stock market and maybe make a dividend. And considering that the share price in the past year has ranged between 60 to $100, that's not a lot of a dividend. Um, but it's been a hard year. So it's, it's very nice of them to share dividends with their employees. Now, with the nation coming back from pandemic, summer movies are hitting the screen. Black Widow was, has been out about a month. Snake Eyes hit the screen last week. Jungle Cruise arrived this week. And all of those, of course, mean toys. Um, and Hasbro is going to cash in on this big time. However, this is not the only reason I'm mentioning the story. Last Monday, Hasbro announced the growth for the second quarter of 2021. Um, it really demonstrates what's happening right now. I have said for over a year that when the economy came back, it would be bigger than when the guys came back from the war, meaning the Second World War. And, uh, Compared to a year ago, net revenue went from, uh, this is not the amount they took in, this is the amount they kept. Net revenue went from $860 million to one and a third billion dollars. Operating profit literally, literally went from 2.2 million to 76.6 million dollars. Uh, that's a huge jump, and it shows what's happening with the economy. Uh, this past week, uh, the uh, president, the administration, elected not to extend uh, the moratorium on evictions. This is significant. I believe that they're betting that more people will get jobs. Should they have extended it? That's a whole other question. But I think one reason they didn't do it was because they looked at the job market. And um, once again, should is a whole other question, but I think that's why. Uh, now, Hasbro had uh, three sectors of their company, and one suffered a bit. Now, some of it was accounting. Consumer product revenue went up 33%. Entertainment jumped nearly 50%. But the segment called Wizards of the Coast and Digital Gaming dropped from 400 million to 186 million. Wizards of the Coast owns brands like Pokemon. Um, some of their games are card games. Other games are online. And what did people do during the entire pandemic? I mean, I ended up playing Civilization more than I would have liked to. Actually, I don't think I've played Civilization since uh, about a year ago. People getting out, this means less online gaming. And now this reflects the, 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 what this reflects actually is not as bad as it sounds. See, franchise brands, partner brands, emerging brands, TV, film, entertainment, all jumped at least 130%. And that's not as good as it sounds because, um, 
Hasbro Gaming and franchise brands, actually their revenue is kind of mingled. Uh, I'm sure it would explain it if I took the time to sit down and read the big, thick corporate report, but I didn't have that time, so I didn't. So evidently, uh, these two segments, even though accounting-wise, they're a bit mixed, and even though Magic the Gathering had to pay for a new game launch and cover depreciation for cars being phased out, uh, I'm still holding to... Mm -hmm. I think this system needs to upgrade. Um, the teleprompter. Uh, I still think this shows people are getting out more and uh, not staying home gaming as much um, the uh, they bought now uh, their e1 music business segment is a very interesting other note that needs to be taken into account uh, e e1 music was a company that Hasbro bought bought in April he had an impressive music library along with film and other entertainment properties well, they just sold the music library off for nearly $400 million. Music libraries are very important. But yeah, Hasbro, that's a good report to dig into, especially it reflecting where we are as a society. Last Tuesday, North Atlanta's Asbury Automotive announced an amazing second quarter. And once again, just like Hasbro, this reflects where we are as a nation, how we're coming back from the pandemic. Their earnings per share more than doubled, and both revenue and gross profit doubled over last year. Now, we now have flying cars. They're uh, flying off the car lots. What? I thought it was funny. Uh, their revenue in quarter two, Asbury Automotive, in quarter two of 2019 was 1.8 billion. Last year, it dipped to 1.5 billion in quarter two. This year, quarter two is two and a half billion dollars. I don't know what that German scientist just flew over, but anyway. Um, in 2019, quarter two, they sold 26,000 new cars. In quarter two of last year, they sold 20,000. This year, in quarter two, they sold 32,000 cars. 22,000 used cars were sold by them in quarter two of 2019. 18,000 used cars in quarter two of 2020. This year, they sold 27,000 used cars in the second quarter. Uh, finance and insurance uh, revenue and gross profit went up by half and parts and service revenue went up by how? 